Hey everybody, this is Jeff, and in today's video, I'm gonna be flying my 3D printed plane. That's a mouthful, trying to say that fast. This is my first 3D printed plane I've ever printed. Uh, it is October right now. I didn't even have a plane. I started doing this in April. This just shows you how easy this is and how well you can get into it. So, I made this plane on my um, Ender 3 S1 Pro which um, was my first 3D printer about two months ago. <laughs> uh, quick overview of the plane. The plane is called the Chick Swift. It is named after my daughter's favorite restaurant and musician, Chick-fil-A, Taylor Swift. Just a side note. I am using the DJI 03 uh, video system. I'm gonna have all the links for everything. This is running on a 4S 2000 milliamp lithium polymer battery. This is all recycled parts in here from my Adam RC Swordfish. If you're looking to get into this, get a Swordfish. This is my first plane. Awesome. Um, I destroyed two of them, by the way. <laughs> this is the flight controller from it. This is the Adam RC F405 um, Navi. GPS, USB hookup. Um, these are the Emacs servos. This is a T motor. Uh, this is the F60. KV rating on it is 2550. It's running an ELRS. This is the Beta Super D ELRS system. And I mean, that's really about it. Uh, I just made this thing just a little bit ago. Now, this is being PLA, it's winter time. And the only thing bad about these 3D printed planes, if you're using PLA Plus, is in the summer they can get a little melty, but so far, so good. Um, I use eSun PLA. All of this stuff was designed by a guy named Oliver C or Oliver FPV. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. I think he's a Frenchman. Definitely go check it out. Um, you will not be disappointed. I learned everything from watching his videos and everything worked. I just followed his recommendations. Piece of freaking cake. I tell you what, this thing flies freaking awesome. And you're gonna find out here and see in just a moment. Um, I'll have my iNav set up. And actually I will link his iNav set up because I just copied it and just made a couple modifications. Um, other than that, this plane is freaking bad to the bone. Flies awesome. So let's get this thing set up and I'll show you exactly just uh, how cool it is. So here we go. This is a uh, Radio Master Boxer. It's awesome. Goggle wise, DJI Goggles uh, V2. Um, I bought these uh, refurbished or renewed or whatever. They're like 300 something bucks. That's why I bought them. That's why I didn't go, you know, when I bought these in April, these were fading out and um, the new goggles two were coming in. I got these cheap. They freaking work. They work. They work awesome. On this plane too, if you build it, this little triangle, if you can even pick that up, center of gravity, this battery, I mean, it all works great. This is the new R line. I got this from Get FPV. I got a lot of my stuff from getfpv.com. They're pretty good. Oh, and Amazon too as well. Good old Amazon. And we're shooting this in a 360 camera today. And you're gonna see the whole deal. I'm gonna show you how I launched this thing, which was weird. Cause I'm so used to just holding the plane and launching it. And also my only planes I've had, um, Swordfish, I've had two of them. I've destroyed them both. And not because of the plane, because of me just trying to um, go check out Shelby Vole and watch some of his videos, trying to fly like him. Uh, close proximity to stuff and just uh, running out of talent. That's my problem. And I got the camera close to the car here because it's a little, the wind is picking up, but it is a slight wind, not, nothing too bad. And besides the swordfish, this plane and a, um, uh, and a dolphin that I have too as well right now. So, which you probably see videos in the playlist. So here we go. I'm gonna turn that a little bit. Let's see if this works. All righty. All right. Delay. I suck at that. 
Now I'm flying in angle mode. God, this thing just flies so freaking good. Let's just, I'm in manual. I mean, look at that, dude. She just spins. Let's do some. Let's just do some high banks. I think I have the rates where they need to be. We're gonna do a loop. Nice little loop back on the throttle. We're gonna come over this way. We're gonna back it down because we're going like, here, that car's going 60 mile an hour. Or are they pulling this way? We don't know, let's find out. They might be coming down the road where we're at. Oh yeah, they are. Well, let's make sure. So right now I'm doing 60. <laughs> let's see if I get this all in frame here. I think I might've got that. That car's probably like, what in the Sam hell? There I am in the car. It's about okay. So here's a, here's a car. So right now I'm doing about let's see here. Just to give you a, just to give you an idea, most people drive on this road. This is a 55 mile an hour road, and as you can tell, I'm getting ready to pass this fool. I'm at. I'm at 50% throttle, and I'm going about 70 mile an hour. I mean, this thing just cooks, dude. She's a cooker. I haven't opened it up yet. Um, this is my second flight with it, so yay. Yay, yay, yay. Um, the way the PID is tuned in the controller is super smooth. Like I'm in angle mode right now and it is just nice. All right, let's get this thing, let's get this thing working. Little breeze. Let's get this thing working. This is like my little, this is definitely what I call my Shake down. Oh, that was like right in between a telephone pole wire. That wasn't bad. Definitely likes the speed. Underneath those wires. Let's go back up. Uh, let me go get some altitude in this thing and we'll. We'll, we'll, we will really, now the wind's picking up. We're gonna put this thing in angle mode. We're just gonna see what kind of stall characteristics it has, if any. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's climbing like at 40 some, it don't even stall. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna cut the throttle. Let's just see what happens as it stalls out here. Trying to stall it. So there's the stall and I'm in manual and it just, it just recovers. Piece of cake. Um, let's see how it flies inverted. Inverted flies fantastically. Let's see how it recovers in inverted into angle mode. <laughs> All by itself, fantastic. Let's see how it flies inverted in acro. Just as good. And spins, spins, doesn't spin too bad. Do a loop. Bring it in. 
and it's been about seven minutes. Let's see if I can't jack this fucking, excuse me, let's see if I can't jack this landing up. I mean, Acro, it flies good. But before, yeah, I mean, look at that cool little shadow right there. I'm gonna buzz the tower, Goose. Hey, there I am. There we are. Let's see if I can't, uh, let's really just, yeah, we probably should bring this thing in for a landing in here. Let's see if I can get this thing. Low, baby. We are moving. We are moving. All right. I'm going to back it down. My first landing that I did was not the best. Trying to still figure out kind of where it needs to be. All righty. See, normally I land an angle. We're going to put the angle in. It's pretty, uh... Hey! That wasn't bad! Woo! That wasn't bad at all. This plane is... I don't know, I would say it flies better than my dolphin. I really would. I would say it flies better than my dolphin. Um, the nice thing with this thing being 3D printed, I tallied it up because of the weight, how much you use material. Seven dollars to print this thing. And, oh yeah, dude. The chick. The chick swift. Look at this thing. It's sick. You can make it whatever color you want. You can make it a thousand different colors. Um, I will also have the links. That's sorry, it's windy. Um, I will have the links for the uh, files that I use to mount my DJI camera and to mount my uh, my VTX for it. Uh, it's just, I got them off Thingiverse. And other than that, that is, everything else is in here. Um, I'm probably gonna build a second one and I'll do a build video of that. Uh, but this thing is just, is just awesome. Let me unplug this. So now you're gonna go, Jeff. This thing's awesome. Why would you ever? Why would you ever buy another plane? Well, pretty simple is that it's cold right now, which means since it's cold, I don't have to worry about this thing warping. Um, this is the downside. Now, of course, that hasn't happened to me yet. But what happens is in the summer, of course, I live in the Midwest, so it's 100 degrees in the summer here and there, and you know, it gets below freezing in the winter. Uh, right now it's fall, so it's perfect. But UV damage, this is PLA plus, but UV, the sun, heat, warps it, messes it up. But I mean, shit, it's only seven bucks. It's not that bad. I mean, <laughs> you gotta keep printing it. If, you could, if you're watching this and you're a fantastic 3D printer, uh, PETG, you'd be good, but you probably already know that if you're a fantastic 3D printer. We'll turn all this off. Uh, let's say you want to run this on a uh, lithium ion pack. You're going to have to get a good one. Um, like uh, there's a company called Upgraded Dark Energy. Upgraded Energy Dark Lithium. I'll put a link in the description. It's what I'm going to next. They sell lithium ion packs, but they sell lithium ion packs that you can, you know, pull 30 amps continuously from. Now, they also cost like $100 for a 5,000 milliamp battery versus like a ZOHD that kind of everyone uses for the uh, dolphin and the swordfish. You know, that's like a $60 battery, but it can only do, it can only do 10 amps. Um, so yeah, this thing, this thing will pull the beans. 3D printed plane, 3D printed plane, 3D printed plane. <laughs> okay, so what's awesome about this 3D printed plane? Number one, 
while I'm flying this one, I could just keep printing a plane. I could have, and I do, I have a second one ready to go. So if I grenade this thing into the ground, all I gotta do is, and this is if the ESCs are available, I swap the ESCs from this one to that one, swap the motor over, and the battery and the flight controller and put it in there, and that's it. You know, there ain't a whole lot, there ain't a whole lot to really swap over. So you can get two, three, four, you can keep printing these things all day long. Um, print time. This took me, if you were at home over a weekend, you could have this thing done in I think, I think 36 hours. But that's if you're like printing, um, you know, you catch it. Every time it stops, you start a new print. Uh, doesn't use a whole lot of filament either. All the printing profiles. Uh, all the printing profiles are provided for by Oliver. Massive thanks to Oliver. I mean, this is awesome that he did this. He did it for free. Um, you know, people's champ. Uh, what else? What else? Get a couple colors. Uh, if it was me, black is cool. I had black. I had pink. My daughter's got some stuff that I printed. I would not do black. And the only reason I would not do that is just to keep it cooler. Um, the black and the sun, especially in the warmer months, will probably warp easier, would be my guess. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just me. Uh, other than that, and it does come with different profiles for like, um, he's got like, if you got walk snail or whatever, the different camera mounts. He mounts his cameras inside here. Um, I did not, and the only reason I didn't do that is because I am poor and I have to transfer this back and forth between my swordfish and my, or my dolphin, excuse me. Uh, if I had multiple cameras, then I would probably buried it in the nose like what he did. And, uh, and that's it. Again, all the links are below in the description of what I used. Uh, I mean, that is it. I just followed the instructions which are laid out. And there we go, we have it. So I'm gonna watch watch for the channel. I'm gonna build another one of these. I'm gonna put it all together because there were some things that I was a little confused on um, that I just figured out. And that's just part of it. And uh, um, even the hinges, the hinges are TPU. So you just glue the hinges in, piece of cake, and that's it. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. More to come, more on this little plane. We're gonna take it. I got a little course set up. We're gonna really just give it the beans and find out what happens. Until then, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.